Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I wanted today to be not just about uh, the usual highlighting of the rarest of crystal openings or the needs of Paragon and Valiant players, but to try to be a better voice for players that I don't talk as much about in this game, but they're still a really important demographic. Basically everyone beneath Paragon, from Thronebreaker to Cavalier to Uncollected to Conqueror and beyond. And that takes us to today's video, Mr. Wolf87, who is working his way through Act 6 right now, trying to get to Book 2. And uh, it's interesting to think about what it would be like in 2024 to do this, because I haven't thought about Act 6 for completion's sake since it was first out. Was that like seven years ago? Am I, is that even right? Sometimes it feels sooner than that, and sometimes it first feels further away. So he wanted to record a video of what it's like to try to go through book one now in 2024 and send me the rewards of how that's impacting his account. Uh, and so you can have an account here that's in need of what we used to call a... Uh, office hours tune-up. This is not the kind of account you're used to seeing when you fight in battlegrounds or an account that even is really something you, you're used to seeing for somebody who's spending a decent amount on this. But this is what some accounts look like where you start off and you've got that 7-star Adam Warlock and a 5-star Nick Fury and those are your top two champs and you got Titania Awakened and a 5-star Angela Archangel. And so he kind of reached out to me and said, Prof, I, I need some help. I don't know who I should rank up. Now, I think your top champions look pretty good. And you've got a six-star Aegon, which, believe it or not, a lot of people have been playing the game and spent a lot more money and done a lot more content than this account still don't have Aegon. They can't get him. They've tried every single option, especially Abyss Nexus crystals, and have yet to get him. Uh, if I'm looking at that third row, though, it's pretty obvious that you're going to need, eventually, some better six stars, some different six stars. Now, Cosmic Ghost Rider, if he's not already max, and is that an Ascended, but also can go up? I've never seen that winged symbol before. Is he Ascended at rank four? First thing you need to do is take Cosmic Ghost Rider to rank five. That would be priority number one if I was you. From there, as you continue to scroll down, look at these great champions he's got as Unawakened 6 stars. Immortal Abomination. Uh, Toad, Blade, Stark Spidey, America Chavez, Danny Moonstar. That OG Hulk also needs to be maxed out. And I would probably max out Hulk, as crazy as it is to say, before I max out Cosmic Ghost Rider. Because he is such an important champion to the game and has only gotten better. He's like a fine wine. And then Warlock I'd rank up more. Um, and then you're starting to get into low level five stars and four stars. Love Black Widow Deadly Origin, love Thighs, but I would not spend the resources to rank her up before Hulk and Cosmic Ghost Rider. And really, it's been years since I've done this video, but given this account's level 59, hasn't completed Act 6 yet, Cavalier most likely, uh, I think for this kind of account, it's better to max a 5-star than rank up a 6-star. It's the same argument right now that I need to do a video on. Is it better to rank 2 a 7-star or rank 5 or maybe even rank 6 a 6-star? Six and I have zigged while so many of my fantastic co-workers slash friends slash fellow content creators have zagged. They've built up their seven star deck and I'm sure with very good reasons and results and I've concentrated mostly on my six star deck and in my eyes I'm happy doing that because so many six stars aren't going to be available as seven stars probably ever and certainly even if they are take a champion like Falcon I still don't have a seven star Falcon but I have an ascended sig 200 rank six one he's amazing I love him uh, so all in all, 
And I think he sent another video just of his account overview. He is Cavalier. Adam Warlock, Nick Fury, Titania, and Angela. Cool roster, but I think you need to concentrate on Hulk and Cosmic Ghost Rider the most. I am back to helping summoners with their rosters. I'm not saying, because last time I did this, I got a flood of so many submissions, especially through our channel partner, shout out, Evazone. Uh, I put instructions every single video I upload of ways to contact me through Evazone because it's the fastest, it's the easiest, and it's the biggest file size for free. Evazone has been beyond incredible for this community and this channel. Uh, getting your videos just in an easier way where I'm not having to delete my Dropbox every month or clear space on Google Drive or get compressed footage on the Line app or Twitter or Lord knows what else I had to do before Evazone. It's, it's been everything. But this is a realistic kind of uh, situation. And I'm honored to use my uh, professor title to make some office hours in the form of this MCOC video. Mr. Wolf 87 I hope it helped you. Thanks for watching.